If you enable the firewall on your Synology NAS and find that your Docker containers can't resolve domain names, you likely have a firewall setup issue, and I'll help you resolve this problem here in this video. It's sometimes hard to determine if your Docker containers are having DNS resolution issues, but in general, you'll find that your containers don't respond properly when you enable the Synology NAS firewall, but the containers work fine when the firewall is disabled. In my current configuration, I have the Synology NAS firewall set up with a few basic rules, which we can see by going to Control Panel, Security, Selecting Firewall, then Edit Rules. Basically, I have one allow rule for my local subnet to be able to access my Synology NAS and a deny rule for all other ports, protocols, and IP addresses. With this setup, the Docker containers that I'm running are having DNS resolution issues, which we can see in the containers logs, specifically in the logs of the Watchtower container that I'm running. We can see this if I bring up the Docker package from the main menu, click on Container, select Watchtower, then Details. Now, under Log, we can see the problem being reported. Here, the log displays a warning message stating that the lookup for index.docker.io has an I.O. timeout. This message isn't displayed if resolving domain names works properly. Another way to determine if Docker containers are experiencing DNS resolution issues is by using the command line from within one of your containers. Here, I'll use the Alpine Docker image, which is a lightweight Linux distribution that is perfect for what I'd like to do. I'll need to use the command line for this, so I'll first enable SSH by going to Control Panel, Terminal and SNMP, then enable the service, and click Apply. I'll then click OK on this warning message and cancel on this firewall notification window because I don't need an SSH firewall rule added for my setup. Now I'll SSH into my Synology NAS and issue the sudo docker pull alpine command to download the alpine image. This step could also have been done from the docker package from within DSM as well. I'll then issue this command, which runs the nslookup command from an Alpine Docker container that is spun up and then removed when the task is completed, being that I've included the dash dash rm option to the docker run command. Here we see that the nslookup command returns a connection timeout message, being that it couldn't reach any name servers. Now, to see how DNS resolution should work within a Docker container, I'll bring up the firewall from the DSM control panel once again, disable the firewall, and click Apply. I'll then switch back to my SSH connection to my Synology NAS and run the nslookup command from the Alpine Docker container once again, and now we see that the DNS name resolution works fine. To resolve this firewall issue, we'll need to add an allow rule to the firewall for the default Docker Bridge Network. To get the specifics on what that network is, we'll need to bring up the Docker package once again from the main menu, select Network, and expand the Bridge Network listing. Here we see the subnet that we'll need to add to the firewall. Note also, if you created other Docker networks, you'll likely need to add those networks to your firewall setup as well. Next, I'll bring up the firewall once again and enable the firewall, which allows me to click on the Edit Rules button. Here, I'll create a new firewall rule, which brings up the Create Firewall Rules window. I'll then select Specific IP, then click Select, which brings up the Source IP window. Next, I'll select Subnet and enter in the Docker Bridge Network that we saw earlier, then click on OK, and OK once again, from the Create Firewall Rules window. Now I'll drag the newly created firewall rule above the Deny rule to make sure it gets a higher priority and click OK. I'll click OK once again from this window and finally Apply. Now the firewall should be set. Now I'll switch back to the SSH connection once again, run the nslookup command from the Alpine Docker container 
and now we see the hostname resolves properly with the firewall activated. Hopefully this video helps you resolve any Synology NAS Docker firewall issues you may have been experiencing, and if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, check out some of my other Docker-related videos listed here on screen, and consider subscribing to this channel as well. Lastly, if you'd like to support this channel, check out the Support This Channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.